In this video, I am going to speak about the safe zone concept for quadrant removal. So this surgery is uh, done by me and I have used the horizontal chop method to crack this uh, grade 1 to 2 cataract. I have done the initial half trench as you can see and I am using Patwadhan's 1.5 mm long chopper to do the horizontal chops. Now how to do horizontal chops? I am going to give the link of my previous teaching step by step video of how to do the horizontal chops using Patwadhan chopper. So here I am doing just mechanical chops as you can see I am not using any FECO energy. I am just dividing this grade 1 to 2 cataract into 4 to 5 pieces there and now I begin the quadrant removal. Quadrant removal usually I use high flow rate, high vacuum and so that the free pieces which I have made can be aspirated very efficiently. Now when you watch this surgery I am sure you are not going into details of what maneuvers I am doing during the procedure and once I come back to this video again and highlight you will start finding or observing nuances or the details in the procedure that has been performed. So let's try to observe now and I would like to highlight the safe zone for doing the quadrant removal. So you can see throughout the procedure my non-dominant hand which is the left hand is more active and going into the periphery and then chopping the nucleus in multiple parts there and now once I begin the quadrant removal you can see that my FACO probe tip, the FACO tip never leaves this safe central zone of 2 to 2.5 millimeter and that is something you must watch now. So watch that my FACO probe movement is very minimal while my non-dominant hand actually does most of the work. So we have to keep working on our non-dominant hand so that we achieve much better success in our surgeries and more safer outcomes. So when you you can just come back and watch this video again and you will find that that FECO tip never leaves the central zone. Now I have learned many many more tips by watching some brilliant surgeons operating. What you have to do is you have to break down the manuals that they are doing, imbibe the details, how they are doing it and what is the hand position, what is the position of the FECO tip, what is the eye position, how they are exerting the pressure and you will realize that the immaculate performance with hands and feet is what is required and it is nothing like less than a dance or choreography. I learned so many things from many surgeons. You just need to be a good student to imbibe those things. So watch every surgery very carefully in details, zoomed in and find out that you can learn many many more things. Thank you for watching and you can write your comments in the comment section. Thank you.